So as we have learned, food webs represent the energy flow through the trophic systems. So here's a quick overview. The producers will take energy from the sun and pass it on to primary consumers who pass it on to secondary consumers who pass it on to tertiary consumers. It's important to know that when energy transfers from one trophic level to the next, not all 100% of the energy is transferred. In fact, most of it isn't transferred. Most of the energy is either used by the trophic level or is lost as heat. So what happens after all this energy is used or lost? Only 10% of the energy is left to transfer to the next trophic level. So producers will transfer 10% of the energy to primary consumers. Primary consumers transfer 10% of the 10%, so only 1% to the secondary consumers, and secondary consumers transfer only 0.1% to tertiary consumers. So 0.1% of the original 100% is given to tertiary consumers. You can see why when we were talking about how theoretically there could be a consumer above tertiary consumers, it's not actually that practical because these quaternary consumers would only receive 10% of the 0.1% of energy. So they only receive 0.01% of the original energy. And that's not just not enough energy for this trophic level to function. So that's why it generally doesn't exist. So this shrinking energy from um, trophic level to trophic level is usually represented in a pyramid. And this is called the energy pyramid. So organisms in higher trophic levels compensate for the inefficient energy transfer by consuming more. So clearly tertiary consumers need to eat more than primary consumers because primary consumers already receive 10% of the energy from producers. So for example, a lion that lives in Africa would have to eat a lot of secondary consumers and primary consumers. So if you notice that a lion spends most of its day either hunting or sleeping because it spends a lot of energy hunting for its new food, but it doesn't get as much energy out. This is interesting because you can connect it to the human diet as well. And many studies show that eating more vegetables provides a more energetic diet. And one way to look at that is because humans are essentially primary consumers when they eat vegetables and secondary or tertiary consumers when they eat meat. And as we just learned, primary consumers have a more efficient t intake of energy. They get 10% from these producers whereas secondary and tertiary consumers have to eat more to gain the same amount of energy. So remember, eating lower on the food web and closer to the original source of energy is a more efficient intake of energy. So as a quick summary, only 10% of energy transfers from trophic level to trophic level. Energy resources limit food chain lengths, and the shrinking of the energy level from trophic level to trophic level is represented through the energy pyramid.